I posted the Kenya Moore birthday video when most of you were sleeping because I waited all day to see if she was going to post something more than just 51, you know, hashtag 51 on this image. So I waited until last minute and when the video went live, most of you were sleeping. So if you missed the Kenya Moore birthday video you did not get a notification to your phone because i posted it around probably 12 a.m please click the very first link in the description below to watch the kenya moore birthday video thank you all for your love and support let's get into this cynthia billy and mike hill t what's up my friend and love sisters finna d coming to you all from vina tina news now a segment of an interview that mike hale did over a week ago it's been a while since the interview was posted on the podcast a segment of that interview has gone a little viral and i was like huh why now because he said this a while ago but i completely understand now let me be fair okay i listened to the entire podcast it was almost an hour because this you know People would take, you know, a little click here and there from what someone had to say. And I'm a fair person. So, you know, I was cooking and cleaning up around the house. And I'm like, you know, just press play. Let it play while you cook and handle your business and all of that. So I listened to it. Uh, Mike Hill shared a lot of, you know, deep things. He was very transparent. Um, he even cried at one point, you know, in the podcast. It was a very deep, it got dark in some moments when he was just talking about, you know, his childhood and certain things that happened to him that I can't say on here because, you know, YouTube is so sensitive. Of course, the reason why I titled this Open Mic, that's his book, the title of his book, okay? And, you know, Open Mic sometimes can be very open. I'm sure to the point where his wife is like, okay, you are revealing and say too much because in as much as the interview was deep and I'm glad that it went viral so that people can also listen to what he had to say about mental health and all of that. He also said some things where he contradicted himself and his relationship with Cynthia. All right. So I'm going to talk about some of the other things at the end, but let us all focus on the reason why we're here, because a part of the interview that went viral is Mike Hill being honest about his marriage to Cynthia Bailey. All right. The host of the podcast basically brought up, you know, he and Cynthia Bailey anniversary. And he was like, you know, word mental health day just, you know, ended and basically your anniversary was on that day. What did you guys do? You know, just questions like that. And Mike Hill talked about how they went to a nice hotel, you know, they had dinner, they had a great time. And I'm summarizing at this point, okay? It was great and all of that. And by Monday, we had such a major argument that I said that I don't think we're going to last two years, meaning he don't think that his marriage is going to go that far. But, you know, they talked about it and they were able to communicate and move past it and all of that. OK, but I wrote down exactly what he said. So let me just read what he said. He says Sunday was our anniversary and then I took Monday off and had to go back to work on Tuesday. We basically stayed in town and went to this great hotel that's in town in West Hollywood and we just chilled. <laughs> of course okay no pun intended but that's the uh, nickname chill Cynthia. okay mike hell the hell the sea you get it all right went to dinner and enjoyed each other's company okay because we are also very transparent yeah we argue and i'm going to tell you right now that saturday was great but that monday i was like we might not make it you know to two years i just said that because it was just something that happened. Basically, he said he doesn't want to go too far into what happened. But he made sure that he made it clear that it was nothing malicious. It was just a simple misunderstanding. And sometimes it's just, you know, simple miscommunication. All right. But there was a part in the interview where he basically described his wife exactly. I mean, to the T 
of what we saw on the Real Housewives Ultimate Girl Strip, of what I've been seeing for years and I've been saying, but people did not notice it, but the Real Housewives Ultimate Girl Strip did not edit. I mean, they did, you know, help Cynthia a little bit at the end and did some editing, but for the most part, they basically allowed us to see everything from beginning to end as in Cynthia behavior and did not try to cover it up. But closer to the end, they felt like, okay, I think we went too far. So let's edit some things out when it comes to Cynthia Bailey. But he brought up 50 Cent, okay? When the host said, what do you normally do when 50 Cent comes out? And he said that when 50 Cent come out, I normally leave. But then he caught himself and he was like, you know what? People are going to take me saying I normally leave and misinterpret it. So let me quickly try to clear that up. Okay. So he said, no, you know, I sit there. I listen. I don't try to argue. I don't try to make my points. I don't try to point out that she's wrong and I'm right. I just sit there and I listen and I allow her to vent. But then he realized, listen, I already said that. Okay, so let me just revisit. He said, but if 50 Cent continue to linger, I leave. He talked about Cynthia Bailey being so stubborn and being stuck in her ways, all right, to the point where when she's irritated about something, she will hold on to it. I mean, everything that we saw on the girl's trip is behind the Velfer Rope podcast. You can either go and listen to the podcast, but they are on YouTube. Type that in your search engine on YouTube, okay? I think it was around January 6th. That's why I'm saying, okay, I guess the segment is going viral now. On um, the part that has Mike Hill and Cindy Billy naming a title. It was an hour, but when it comes to the YouTube segments, it's broken into like, I think two or three separate videos, but the podcast is an hour long. You can go to his YouTube channel and hear exactly what Mike Hill had to say, but you know, kudos to Mike Hill opening up about, you know, depression and mental health and things he had to overcome. You know, he talked about his past relationships and the reason why he made certain comments on the show. And, you know, he talked about cheating on all of his, you know, previous ex-wives and why it's different with Cynthia Billy because he's working on himself. It was a very deep podcast that I want everyone to know that he didn't just come on there and was like, yep, hi, how you doing? By the way, my wife and I argued, okay? So absolutely go ahead and listen. But, you know, I know most of you were in the comments before this podcast came out that Cynthia Bailey needs to start. Stop focusing on Kenya more so much and doing all of these interviews and Instagram live and focus on her relationship and work on her relationship because, uh, yeah, it's not looking too good for her. You know, I wish Cynthia and Mike Hill the best, but I do hope they can work through anything. Um, that man, I'm sure, was absolutely going to get to the point where he wanted to marry her or not but the you know i'm of certain age i need a we saw how cynthia carry on about wanting a ring and wanting to get married and if you're not going to you know get married and and propose I, i'm not going to be here i'm going to leave and all of that when some when people are pressured things feel rushed then sometimes they end up exploding because it's like this is not where i wanted to be in the first place i still felt like we needed more time to get to know each other and to date and i was almost giving an ultimate them that either you put a ring on my finger or have a nice life and because I didn't want to lose you you know I put a ring on your finger prematurely but regardless it looks like they are figuring it out and you know hopefully there's more love than fighting for the marriage I do believe that you know when people say fighting he doesn't mean literally the way how it sounded, it was almost like this battle, this, you know, internal and mental and spiritual battle. And I really do hope that, I mean, Mike Hill did say this. He said, you know, there's more um, positive and loving moments than the fight and the battles and all of that. So I really do hope and wish you know that for them because no relationship is perfect and positive and great all the time but you know I do wish them the best I think Cynthia Billy is Mike Hill third wife and Mike Hill is Cynthia Billy's second husband 
All right. So hopefully they have learned things in their previous marriages that will help this marriage grow. Anyways, I'm wishing Cynthia and Michael the best. I'm wishing all of you the best and take care. And I hear my final loves. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you where I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.